something that we always understand is an image. And we can't say that why we understand it, but um, and, and especially mythical images are very, very powerful. And we look at them again and again, and, and it's like a diamond. I can look at one facet and it needs this to me, and then a Mark looks at it here and it means a little something there to Mark, and it means something to you and to you. And as we go around the room, turning this dream or this diamond around, we have many different ways of understanding the same thing. It creates many layers of, of uh, living, of, of experiencing that are powerful. And ultimately, we come to the truth of it. The only way we can put this into words is poetically. It, to try to analyze a dream is really to misunderstand the language itself, because it doesn't work that way, right? You can't understand uh, an image analytically. It's as if you're looking at a butterfly, and the butterfly is wonderful and delightful and fills you with joy, and then you take a pin and pin it. Then the butterfly is dead, so you can analyze it. But what have you lost? Right. So, what? Their life. Their life, right? And the beauty and the, the, the joy of watching this butterfly move, right? So this inspiration is so profound, and that's where, what we've lost um, lately more and more. So people are very much in, if they're, with their... Uh, computers and their iPads and their iPhones and right and they're losing the this incredible power of life around or life inside of them.